Hello, and welcome back to Amnesia Spade World. We left off just about to go on a trip from hell, as you can see. So let's see how it goes. Good morning, everyone. My name is Rika, and I'll be coordinating our stay at the lodge beginning today. Three from Agoya University, 15 from Seichi University. It seems everyone's here. Let's all be sure to get along for the next three days and have a wonderful stay at the lodge. Rika, I'll hold your bags for you. Oh, why, thank you, but I can hold something like this myself. So she's the coordinator. I didn't want to have to see something so weird first thing in the morning and to think we'll be together for three days. I get how you feel. It's a billiards club, so I was kind of hoping there would be a smart and stylish guy or two. Most of your members are girls, just like I expected. There's only one other guy besides Iki, and he's... no good. Yeah, no good. Your only male member is also no good, to be honest. Yeah, I think so too. No offense. Why are only three out of the 18 people in a billiards club men? I can't believe this. I can't believe it either. Although the thing I can't believe most is the kind of people at your school. Oh, right. Sorry about that. Huh? I heard that Mine would come, but I didn't think she went to Iki's university. The one other member of your club was a guy, right? The two guys here besides Iki are both kind of geeky. I wonder which goes to which university. Hmm. Well, none of the male members seem dangerous, so it doesn't matter. And it sounds like both Mine and Sawa came here to check out guys from each other's club. Are you a friend of Kayla's? Yeah, I'm Sawa. What about you? I mean it. I work at the same place as Kayla. She's always helping me out. I see. Well, it's nice to meet you. And wait, are you not one of Iki's fans? Oh, I asked him out, but I was rejected. It seems like he isn't the type to cheat or break up to go out with another girl. Iki might be a bit of a playboy, but he seems to play by the rules, at least. Although, I've been thinking I might try again when he decides to break up with Kayla. Hey! I see. Well, I guess the three of us might as well get along. Yeah. What? That's how you end the conversation? Okay, everyone. Let's begin moving. Please be careful not to be separated. Shinano, a tourist area where people from the city come to escape the heat. And it's the middle of summer, the best season in Shinano. But it's freezing cold! It, it, it's really cold. I guess it's to be expected from the top of a mountain. I, I, I know, right? Let's go inside. Ah, It's nice and warm. It's soothing. It's all warm and cozy. This is all so wrong. That's not how you should feel in the middle of summer. And in Shinano of all places. Hello everyone, I'm the owner of the Shinanoji Mountain Lodge. I heard that our guests here are from the Billards Association. Our lodge has a capacity of 20 people, so the entirety of the grounds has been reserved for you for the next three days. The amusement area available to you are, of course, Billards Room, a game room equipped with dartboards and air hockey, a tennis court, a golf course, a shooting range, our hot springs, a heated pool, a beauty salon, a ski course, and more. We have a wide range of activities available for you. What? You only have the capacity for 20 people, but do you have that many amusement areas? Anyways, please relax and enjoy your stay with us. A nice middle-aged man. Yeah, I think he's the best guy out there, Iki. You girls seriously need to think of something other than men? Very well then, everyone. Please go to your assigned rooms and leave your belongings. We will have some time to practice first. Members of both universities are here to play billiards after all. Please refer to this room assignment diagram to see which of the rooms you will be in. Now then, where are you? Oh, looks like I'm in the same room as you. Looks like you're rooming with Sawa. That's kind of a relief. I totally thought you might get assigned with that demon girl and have to spend the night with all of her drama. Anyway, we should drop our stuff up at our room. And I want to ask the owner for his name on the way. Come with me. I knew that's what you wanted. 30 minutes later. He was kind of old. Alright. 
Iki. Ah, you're so dreamy. How are you so cool? I don't even need to play billiards. I'm happy just looking at you, Iki. Me too. Yes, yes, thank you. But could you keep it down? You might make me mess up. You'll be fine, Iki. Hey, hey, could you teach me how to play later? Stop that. His girlfriend's been looking our way for a while, you know. Yeah, I know. But you don't mind, right, Iki? Mm -hmm. Why would you need to be concerned if I'm just teaching you how to play billiards? Right? <sighs> I know we knew this would happen, but what a racket. It's worse than usual. Huh? Does it look like Iki is moving his lips? He's trying to tell you something. Just watch. Hmm. What an egomaniac! Does he think he looks that cool? Damn it, he really does. Just shoot already. It's not like you'll miss anyways. Iki, one more, just one more. You can do it, Iki. Ah, this isn't the atmosphere to play anything seriously. And everyone here looks crazy. What will you do? Will you just watch a little longer or leave? I'll watch a little more or maybe I should leave. I'll watch a little more. Hey, it looks like his girlfriend is just watching us. Huh? Uh, you're right. How scary. Uh, you're one to talk. Okay, okay. You don't need to worry about her. Uh, it'll be hard to gather information. And the fangirls are insane. Let's just go to Sawa. What's with this trip? It would probably have been better to call it the Everyone Just Watch Iki Tour. This doesn't seem like the kind of trip a Billards Association would take. I know, right? I totally agree. Hmm. This table's open. Good evening. Oh, Mine, did you want to come play with us? No, Rika just told me to give you guys an invitation. It seems like we're going to have a card tournament in the lounge downstairs tonight. Would you two like to join? A card tournament, hmm. Apparently the owner will participate too. Seriously? I'm in. He's not even that cute. Okay then. Hmm, a card tournament, huh? An informal gathering like that would probably be good for getting information. But I'm pretty sure in the end we'll just be stuck watching Iki and his psycho harem. Oh, Kayla, what about you? I'll go or I'll pass? Um, I think I'll pass. Really? Well, I'll be going then. If you want to play, you can come down at any time, okay? Okay then, we'll be off. See you later. Hmm. Well, you're all alone now. What will you do? Want to come up with a plan? Oh, do you happen to remember how to play billards? I could teach you if you don't. Huh? Someone's here. Oh, you're here. Don't knock and then open the door anyway without waiting for a response. Sorry, I thought you were downstairs, so I didn't think anything of opening the door. I didn't have any bad intentions. This is kind of unfortunate. It would have been more fun if you were in the middle of changing. Hey, get your mind out of the gutter. Her underthings are no one's business. Are you not going downstairs? It seems like it'll be pretty exciting. I figured someone would find me if I went back to my room, so I ran off in another direction. Mind if I hide out in here for a while? If you're afraid of being alone in the same room as me, I'll go somewhere else. You can say or, um... Uh, no, you can say. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. Can I sit next to you? I am so tired. Lately, it's shocking how little they let go of me. What's going on with them? Well, I usually try to avoid big gatherings by doing what we're doing right now. When I'm around everyone just clinging on to me and nobody can play a decent game. You're here now, just by chance, but usually I hide out all by myself. Hmm. Hey, do I look popular to you? Well, it's not true. I'm actually just in the way. Are you sad you can't participate? Um, you got me. <laughs> I never thought you'd guess that. Nobody's realized it until now. I'm really no match for you. Yeah, I really am sad. I want to be normal, and I want to have fun with everyone. Like normal, talk to them normally, or even argue. I want people to talk to me like I'm normal, like you do. For example, Ken is always making fun of me, and he never praises me over nothing. You're the same way. 
You comment on what you don't like, and you express what you really want to do like a normal person. To me, something that simple is actually really amazing. It's almost a miracle. I'm sure you can't even imagine the world that I live in, and I'm thankful that you always take the time to talk to me. And I'm probably far more serious than you think I really am. Hey, do you mind if I stay here just a while longer? Talk to me. I don't care how trivial it is. I just want to talk like normal. I just want to hear your voice. August 20th. It looks like we won't be able to play billiards today either. I can hear screams coming from that room. It's kind of scary. I don't think we should go. Hey, be honest with me for a sec. Why do you even have a guy like that as your boyfriend? I didn't get a chance to hear you out last time, but you need to talk about it already. Huh? You don't know either, Sawa? That's right, she refuses to talk about it. Oh, I totally thought you already knew, Sawa. Do you know anything? Nope. When I started working here this spring, there was no indication that it would happen at all. In fact, I was shocked. It looked like she didn't even like him. I knew it! She told me before that she disliked Iggy too. What? So I was right. But then they suddenly started going out. I'm seriously worried that she made a bad decision under the influence of his eyes. Hmm, I wonder if his eyes could suddenly start working just like that. Hey, could you at least tell us one thing? Did his eyes work on you? Yeah, tell us. You're not being affected by them, are you? We don't know about how they work before you lost your memories, but they definitely don't have an effect now, right? But it's possible that the reason they don't work now is because I'm occupying part of your mind. But according to Sawa and Mine, it seems like you didn't like Yiki in the past. In that case, they must not have worked back then either. But then again, back when Iki was teaching you how to make the parfait, you were obviously charmed by him. Hmm, I wonder what really happened. I suppose you just have to guess. They only worked out first. They only worked out first? Are you serious? Wait, then how are you able to get over it? I might be able to get closer to Iki if I'm not affected by them either. Come on, tell me your secret. I'd like to hear it as well. Iki! This is the first time I've heard this. I'd like to know what's going on. Oh, crap. You really don't know what's going on before. From what you're saying, it sounds like my eyes worked on you at first. When did they stop working? Hmm. Well, you know, she probably has her reasons. I'm sure she'll eventually tell us about it, right? I'm sorry. We were prying a little too much. Sorry. Oh, do you folks have some business in the lounge? I could bring you drinks. Huh? Oh, sure. I was just thinking that I'd like some coffee. I got it. It'll just be a minute. Ha! Ah. Ah. It looks like we somehow managed to get out of it. Nice save, owner. There's only one thing to do at a lodge in the summer. It's only custom to have a test of courage upon nightfall to help bring on some chills to beat the heat. And that's why we prepared such a test with the area around the lodge. Uh, it's already cold enough here. To tell you the truth, 50 years ago, a young woman suffering from unrequited love hung herself in the forest nearby. <gasps> the path we shall walk tonight is the very same one she took. Follow the path on the maps that we hand out. Leave flowers in the place where she passed away, then return. The forest around the lodge is very dark, so be sure to watch your footing. And be sure not to let her capture you. Please exercise the utmost caution. Um, uh, that was all made up, right? It would be way convenient to have that kind of story happen so close by. Everyone, please draw lots and split up into groups of two with your partner. Hey, this is just like in Sorry Sky in Spring, we did a test of courage with Kanata. Also, please be sure not to be separated from your partner while on your way to her grave. Everyone, do you know who your partners are? Oh, who's this? Oh no, are you really my partner? Uh, this girl's a part of the group that always hangs around Iki. She's probably a fan club member. Oh, Rika, it looks like you're my partner. I'm glad. So now girl one and two have faces? 
Yes, me too. We've seen that girl a lot too. Oh, they all have like faces now. Ah, Iki, I'm your partner, Iki. Yeah, looks like it. Let's get going. It looks like they could be brother and sister with the blue stripes. And we've seen her too. Hey, wait, doesn't it seem like everyone's partners are diehard fan club members? This seems rigged. Huh? It seems like Iki's glancing over here a lot. Maybe he wants to talk? Want to go over to him? Not right now. Yeah, if he had something to say, he'd come to you. 30 minutes later. Anyway, the next group is up. Looks like it's our turn. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I wonder if they're cooking up something out there. Or are we really just visiting a grave? In a weird way, that would be the best scenario. It's really dark! What's this? It's a lot darker than I thought. <sighs> to think I'd have to be alone in a place like this with you. I'm so jealous of the girl who got to be partnered with Iki. I'm sure you would have preferred to be paired with Iki too. Ooh. I'm just no good. Yeah, I know I'm a spirit, but I'm afraid of ghosts. Ah, uh, it looks like a long way according to the map. It looks like we're supposed to go right at the fork. But if it's this dark, we might not even be able to see a fork in the trail. I don't like this. I just want to go home. Wait, shouldn't we have come across that first fork already? Uh-huh. Could we have taken the wrong path? Or could the ghost be leading us astray? Um, there's got to be something wrong with the map. We should have been able to see it. Maybe we should go back. Wait, huh? Where's your partner? She's gone. <laughs> Let's go back, okay? Um, do you hear footsteps? Uh, maybe your partner's coming back. I found you. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so scared, guys. This voice. Oh, it's just Iki. <sighs> What's with that look? Were you scared? There, there. It's okay now. The girl who was my partner said she wouldn't go, so I snuck away from her. Wait a sec. Where's your partner? Those troublemakers. Enough with the helpless look already. It'll just make me want to embrace you. Come on, hold on to my arm. Nothing scary will happen anymore. I'll protect you from everything. This is bad. I really do want to hold you now. Ah, no, no. I can't make them dislike you more. I won't do anything. I don't want you to be scared anymore. Ah, you know, we should both just abandon this game. I found a nice hill where I came here last year, where you could see the sky. We should just go stargazing. You're not having fun doing this, are you? Mm -hmm. There's also something I wanted to ask you when we're alone. It's about what you said to Mine. Was that true? Did my eyes really work on you? You've never said a thing about it until now. Why didn't you say anything? Don't tell me. You still believe the rumors that I just discard the girls I've won over? I don't believe it anymore. I see. Yeah, thanks. That's good. Although you already know that I've had my share of fun with girls. But the whole thing about me throwing girls away, that's just something that guys who don't believe the power of my eyes like to pretend is true. I don't even need to try to win girls over anyways. It's all just silly. Everyone is just in one or two groups. They either absolutely love me or they despise me and spread rumors. Besides you, the only person who's ever considered trusting me and approached me with a level head is Ken. Hmm. We're here. The stars are amazing. You know, a long time ago, when I was just a little kid, I looked up at the sky like this and made a wish on a shooting star. I said, I wish I could be really popular with the girls. <laughs> I was a pretty silly kid, right? Thinking about it now, I could have wished for something better. But after that, the attitude of all the girls around me changed so suddenly. It was totally strange how nice they were to me. I was shocked. And as I started to get older, the responses I got from girls became more serious too. By the time I entered middle school, I was sure. The wish I made had come true. <gasps> it's like, be careful what you wish for. But I wasn't happy about it. While I was loved and adored by countless girls, I lost all of my friends. I didn't want this power. I wished for the absolute worst thing before I knew any better. If I could, I'd go back to that time and make a different wish. I wouldn't ask for this again. All I'd wish for would be for the one girl I love to love me in return. Oh, 
There's a shooting star. Oh, I wish you would love me. I wish that you wouldn't get mad when I tried to kiss you. And I wish that you would let me try another time. I made these wishes on you, not the star. Did they not work? Oh. Hmm. I really do love you. Oh, that was so sweet. Oh, if only my wish would come true. Maybe it's a little greedy of me to expect a second miracle. <sighs> Guys, Iki is just, he's taken my heart. August 21st. Okay, guys. Well, we will see what happens on the next day of the trip next time. Thanks for watching.